Hello everyone, welcome to the video session of compensation management. Today we will be starting with our first module in which the topic is an overview of reward management. We will be starting with the subcontents like meaning and characteristics of reward management as well as the general and specific aims to achieve reward management. So let's begin with the reward management. It is about to design, implement and the maintenance of the reward system that aims to satisfy the needs of both the organization as well as the stakeholders to fairly, equitably and consistently operation of the reward system. It should be emphasized that the reward management is not just about the financial rewards that is pay or employ benefits, but it is equally concerned with the non-financial rewards such as recognition, learning and development opportunities and increased job responsibility. So now let's have a look on the characteristics of reward management. The first one is reward management and people. Now reward management is concerned with the people which are involved not only for example the employees when, uh, when they are rewarded for their skills and capabilities and the contribution they make in an organization but it is equally concerned with the managers as well as the reward uh, specialist who design and make the rewards and reward them accordingly. The next one, it is a stakeholder approach. Reward management is a stakeholder approach because it is uh, the duty of human resource management to make sure and to ensure that the needs of all the stakeholders in the business is uh, satisfied. For example, the employees, customers, suppliers and the public at large as well as the management and the shareholders. And so reward management shares the same purpose by associating reward management policies with the HR policies to create a working environment that will operate fair and ethical treatment to the employees. The next one is integrated reward management. Now here the policies and practices are uh, operated and created in a coherent whole. That means there is an integration in the reward management and which takes place in three forms. That is a strategic integration, human resource management integration as well as the reward integration. The next one is strategic reward management. Now, strategic reward management refers to the ability of the mind, that is the belief that you will identify that what you want to do, what the organization values and wants to achieve. The next one is evidence-based reward management. Now, it is a system which is based upon the facts rather than the opinions. It is based upon the understanding rather than assumptions and on the ground theory rather than dogma. So award based, uh, evidence based reward management makes the useful of all the information which is obtained from the effective and detailed evaluation of reward practices and the strategic benchmarking. So these were the characteristics of reward management. Now let's have a look on the general aims of reward management. So these are the aims you can achieve in general via planning for the reward management. The first one is reward philosophy. Now reward philosophy addresses the long term issues relating to how people should be valued for what they do and what they achieve in the organization. The next one is distributive justice. It refers to how the rewards are distributed among people in accordance with the value they contribute to the organization and to ensure that they receive what was promised to them. The next is procedural justice. Now, it refers to the ways in which the managerial decisions are made and the reward policies are put into the practice. Next is fairness. So a fair reward system is the one that operates with the principles of distribution as well as the procedural justice. The next one is equity. Now, equity is achieved when people are rewarded appropriately in relation to the others and equal pay is provided for the value of equal uh, value they are performing in the organization. The next one is consistency. Now, pay, uh, pay decisions do not vary from what generally would be regarded as fair and equitable. So, the reward system must be consistent enough. Next is transparency. So transparency exists when the people understand how reward processes functions and how they are affected by them. 
that means how the employees are affected by them so employees must be having equal voice in the development of policies and practices and designing the reward system next is strategic alignment now strategic alignment ensures that the reward initiatives are planned considering the business strategy and designed to support the business goals. The next one is contextual and culture fit. So reward system must be designed in taking uh, care of contextual factors as well as the cultural fit. So contextual factors involves the characteristics of the organization, the business strategy and the types of employees involved as well as the organizational culture depends upon the values and its behavioral norms. The next is performance and reward. People are aware of the need to perform well in order to meet the expectation. And so there is a linkage between performance and reward system. So people will always, employee will always perform as per the reward system. So they'll perform better and so they will be uh, getting more rewards in return. And the next is segmentation. So segmentation refers to segmenting the reward packages for different types of jobs and level of contribution people make. So let's take an example that there must be different reward packages designed for the sales staff as well as for the administration staff because the nature of activities or the jobs they are performing is very much different. So there must be different reward packages designed as per the departments. So these were the general aims in the reward management. Now let's have a look on the specific aims of reward management. The first one is support the achievement of business goals and high performance. So reward system always support the achievement of business goals and high performance by ensuring that the organization has the talented and engaged people in it and also ensures that the reward system is encourages and recognizes them. Next is support the development of organizational culture. Now it is done by helping the employees that is to support and develop the organizational culture. You will link the performance to the reward system. Specifically, you will uh, link the rewards to their behavioral aspects and also taking care of the employees through the provisions of uh, employee benefits as well as pension schemes. Next one is define the right behaviors and outcomes. So you need to define the expectation of performance management through the contingent pay schemes. Next is reward people according to the value they create and what the organizational values. So people are assessed according to the contribution they make to the organizational goals and so they are rewarded accordingly. Align reward practices with the employee needs. Now it is very much important to ascertain the needs of the employees and which will directly satisfy their job experience and so to connect the reward system with their performances. Help to attract and retain high quality people. Now, pay levels are the most important component to attract the people to the organization. And similarly, to retain the employees, that is the decision to remain with the organization always affects or is affected by the growth level, that is pay in growth or else the fairness in the reward system. As well as people also compare the reward system of your, uh, of your company as well as the rival companies. And last is when the engagement of people. Now it is very much important to keep your employees engaged in the work, to keep your employees motivated enough so that they stick to their work. So you can uh, earn the engagement of people via financial as well as non-financial rewards. It can be incentives or recognition as well as the promotions and appraisal. So this was all about the characteristics of reward management as well as achieving specific and general aims in reward management. Thank you so much.